The United States has the largest number of immigrants in the world. However, Central American refugees are not the only immigrants who come to this country. Syrians, Chinese and Turks are only some of the refugees who come into this country and some reside right here in the valley. CBS 4's Priscilla Estrada explores if immigrants believe the U.S. is still the land of opportunity despite changing times. Over 42 million immigrants from various parts of the globe live in the United States, according to research from the 2014 Migration Policy Institute. From those coming to the United States seeking asylum, fleeing political instability, escaping war, persecution, or natural disaster, whether legally or not, all arrive with the hope to build a better life. Wherever a place is given opportunities, whether it is work opportunities or business opportunities, and if they have safety, if there is safety, people will, people will always seek for a safe place for them to, to raise their family, to work and get for employment. Approximately four million immigrants live in the state of Texas alone, which is where we find 27-year-old McAllen resident Abu Jamal who arrived in the United States four years ago from Syria, a country torn with violence and destruction and where thousands of square miles are controlled by ISIS. His desire to come to the United States was for survival. I saw things that in, in the street that I cannot, I can recall, but I don't want to recall them because they're sad. It's like a lot of blood, a lot of civilians getting killed for no reason. It's estimated that over 4 million Syrians have fled their homes since the outbreak of the Syria civil war in March 2011, according to the Syria Regional Refugee Response. Jamal worked for the International Red Crescent and Red Cross in Syria to save the injured, but had a pivotal moment while serving the community he holds dear to his heart. When we used to go to a, a war zone area, when they're shooting and everything, we go with the best, complete best and everything. What the, once, once it happened to us, that was the worst case ever. And they shut me down, they told me, you're not going nowhere. His family fearing for his safety and fleeing the dangers of war, Jamal decided to come to the United States. There's a land of opportunity, why should I, why should I wait until the war is over? It's like wasting my time? No, I want to start something new here. And I saw a lot of opportunities. Opportunities that have only grown since arriving in the United States. Jamal is now a pre-med student at the University of Rio Grande Valley and serves as a community member in the Pre-Med Biomed Society, helping promote excellence to people who reside in the colonias of the valley. So I'm really excited to help the people out here and continue what I had, what I had done in Syria with the Red Cross. Just take that from there and put it here for the people. Because we're all humans, we have to help each other. It doesn't matter, Mexican, Syrian, American. Despite his success in the United States, he's worried about not being able to visit Syria again out of fear he will not be able to return due to the recent executive order travel ban by the new president. President Donald Trump signed an executive order banning citizens from seven Muslim countries to travel to the United States for a 90-day period that has since been temporarily halted by a federal judge, but still leaves many in fear. The way they constructed this executive order was actually these people, they were not coming illegally. They come with their visas, with their green cards. I mean, I mean it was actually major impact on the American reputation. You treated them like criminals. Balshi, a native from Turkey who came to the United States over 20 years ago to study and planned to return to Turkey before realizing no opportunities awaited him back home. Conditions change and political instability and I come to a point that my job was not guaranteed there. <laughs> So if I go back, that I would be unemployed, and I thought, okay, I should look for options here. Balshi and his wife, who is an immigrant from China, moved to the Valley from California after getting a job at the University of Rio Grande Valley, where he teaches Middle Eastern history and philosophy, and soon started a family with his wife. So they are growing up here. We are a land of opportunity because one, one major thing is also American freedom. Yet many immigrants find it difficult to achieve their dreams due to obstacles. 
the, the culture is different, the language is different. According to the Center for Immigration Studies, 43.6% of immigrants from all over the world live in or near poverty in the United States, compared to 31.1% of natives. As an immigrant, you have to work a lot harder than regular Americans. Right? Many find comfort within their own communities where they do not feel singled out. I'm not going to say we are a perfect community, please, you know. We're not perfect like any other nation, you know. So why do you expect this Muslim community to be perfect and uh, criminals free? Sabki leads the prayer at the mosque in Edinburgh, who says over 30 different nationalities make up the mosque. According to the Migration Policy Institute 2013 data, over one million immigrants from the Middle East and North Africa reside in the United States, making up 2.5 percent of the nation's immigrants. I, I believe that the U.S. is, is, in, is like not only Americans, everybody can, can have a chance here. The USA has been the land of opportunity since a long period of time. And if somebody is trying to swim against the current, I don't think that he will succeed. But the valley has been, since 10 years I have been here, valley has been becoming more uh, global, I mean, noticeably. I could see because when there are opportunities and works and businesses, more and more people come and it becomes more diverse. In Hidalgo County, Priscilla Estrada, CBS4 News and ValleyCentral.com.